Welcome, this is Nathan with Skyflight Robotics and today I'm going to show you how to set up a flight plan using your new Phantom 4 and MicaSense Red Edge integration kit. Feel free to pause this video at any time while completing any of the following steps. Download the Drone Deploy app and create a Drone Deploy account. Then open your Drone Deploy app. First go to the Settings tab at the top. Here you want to ensure that your max altitude is set to 400 feet and your used third-party camera setting is in the on position. Then you can go back to the dashboard. Next, select plan a new flight. You can name your plan at the top. For simplicity, we're going to name this plan. You can then increase your flight altitude to 400 feet. Flight direction we'll come back to in just a minute. But first we're going to go to the advanced settings. Increase your side lap to 88%. It's important to note that you must have your side lap set to 88% or your MicaSense Red Edge camera will not collect the required data. Front lap can be set at any percentage because the MicaSense Red Edge camera has its own GPS that determines front lap. Your, mics, your max flight speed should be set to 34 miles per hour, and your starting waypoint should always be at 1. Ensure that orbit at end of mission is also in the off position, or your drone will not return to home when the mission is completed. Now, go back to planning. It's important to remember that when you're flying, you want to have the wind perpendicular to the flight path of the aircraft. In this case, a north or south wind would be suitable. But if we had a wind out of the northwest, for example, you would want to slide the flight direction tab to compensate for the northwest wind, like so. Now you can tap and hold the center four arrow of your flight plan mission to move it to a desired location. Then you can tap, hold for two seconds, and slightly move any of the white dots to change the field boundaries. into any configuration you'd like. It's also important to note that you should be sure and cover the entire field even slightly further than the edges to collect the proper data needed. Once you've done that, you can turn on the drone and you'll notice that it says drone connected at the bottom. That means you're ready to fly. You can select the aircraft button on the bottom right and the drone will go through a safety check. If everything passes, a check mark will appear and you will be clear for takeoff. Once you select a check mark, the drone will climb to the desired altitude and fly to the starting waypoint and begin flying the mission. If at any time you need to return the drone to the home location, for a battery change or any other reason, simply select the home button and the drone will fly back to the home location and land. After that is completed, you can change the battery, hit continue, select OK, got it, reopen your plan, and you'll see the aircraft symbol appear again at the bottom. The dotted line indicates the areas that have already been flown, so the drone will resume flying where it left off. Notice on the left hand side you have battery indicator that tells you how much battery percentage you have left. If at any time your battery drops below 25% you must return the drone to the home point. Now if you're going to continue to fly the same field week after week you need to create the same flight plan and there's an easy way to do this. If you go to the flight plan that you want Select the three dots to the right, select copy, it will place a new plan that's ready for you to fly automatically. That concludes our video for the instruction on how to set up a flight plan using your MicaSense Red Edge camera and Phantom 4 integration kit.
If you have any questions, go to skyflightrobotics.com and contact somebody from our team, and we will be glad to assist. Happy flying.